Hi, I'm Charles Sullivan. I'm director of the Cambridge Historical Commission, and we've just published a book called Building Old Cambridge. I'm Susan Maycock. I'm survey director of the Cambridge Historical Commission. We've been working on this book for about 22 years together. Old Cambridge originated as the village of Newtown, which was founded in 1630 to be the capital of Massachusetts. Uh, the early settlers were scared about settling in Boston. The other towns were all jealous of each other. Um, in the last day of 1630, they met at Watertown, looked downstream, saw a hill by the river and said, that's where we'll place our town. Newtown uh, was the capital of Massachusetts until 1634, when the legislature decided that Boston was a better bet after all. Newtown was changed to Cambridge in 1638. Then Cambridge began to populate itself with other villages, East Cambridge and Cambridgeport, then North Cambridge, then the original village around what became Harvard Square became known as Newtown. What didn't become known as Newtown? I mean, what became? Oh, <laughs> then the became thank you. Known as See, Harvard she's, Square. She's editing, and then I'll edit her, and she'll edit me, and in <laughs> 20 years we'll have a little okay. video clip. Yeah. We're standing in one of the houses in uh, Old Cambridge. In 1863, 15 Berkeley was built for a schoolmaster, uh, Lyman Williston, who ran a girls' school here. The house is important architecturally and also for its social and educational content. The details of the history of the house are the kinds of details that are in building old Cambridge. The commission was founded in 1963 and in 1964 began a survey that includes every building in Cambridge. Um, so we've developed files and research on every building in the city that we've drawn upon uh, as a primary source for uh, researching building old Cambridge. And I know I repeated what you were saying, but I did. just a different way of saying the same thing. Yeah, well. Okay. I love doing the research and finding out new things about the buildings. I particularly concentrated on the residential architecture and finding out about the architects who worked in this area, the early builders, where they lived. Many of the early builders and, and well-known architects settled in Cambridge and that was an exciting find. For me. I've been fascinated with Cambridge ever since I moved here and began to work for the Historical Commission in 1974. Cambridge has a history that is layered in many levels. It's a, a, a natural landscape that was agricultural at first. It became urbanized. Um, it became, the city became a transportation hub. It used its uh, natural uh, resources and position in the Boston area to become um, uh, commercially important, and there is a fascinating social history. So uh, that's an enormous uh, scope of um, field for research. When we um, punch, <laughs> well, they can break this up into segments. We say we've taken 20 or 22 or maybe even a few more years to prepare this manuscript. Uh, we've had a manuscript mostly complete by 2005. And then the, uh, in 2011, the Cambridge Public Library digitized the Cambridge newspapers going back to 1846. And so all of a sudden it was possible to search um, every, and document almost every fact in the book, which we did, and discovered amazing new information about Cambridge and its neighborhoods and its individuals, uh, which caused us essentially to rewrite the manuscript with more detail and a, and a denser and we hope more uh, fulfilling form. I'd say the most challenging part of doing this research was uh, self-editing and making it into a readable story but not being able to include everything that you learned. But all of that raw material is available in, uh, in the Historical Commission's files and available to us and to the public at all times. There is online, there's somebody posted on their Twitter feed a, um, oh, a copy of the book and then their hand next to it to show it was four fingers thick. <laughs> right. So head down 
to your nearest bookstore and pick up a copy of Building Old Cambridge. You'll be in better physical shape by the time you get it home and lift it a few times and you'll be better educated about the history of Cambridge once you've, once you've read the manuscript and, <laughs> and examined the photographs.